I am filming during the daytime. Is my mental health actually better or am I just manic? We will never know. What is up guys? I'm Envy and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a palette comparison between the Natasha Denona Retro Palette and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette and talking way too much. So if that is something that you're interested in, keep on watching. Pivot myself this way because I remember this time that I go towards the bathroom, towards the bathroom. <laughs> But hi, yeah, so as you can see, I have both palettes on my eyes right now. There is some slight differences. Um, if you wanna watch further ahead, that's fine. But mainly, the main difference is in the shimmer shades, but that's to be expected because Modern Renaissance only has two shimmers, one being a pale pink and the other one being like a pale champagne-y gold. While Natasha Denona's Retro Midi palette does have a much more variety of shimmers, but let's get right into the swatches. So first I compared Tempura from the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette to Mod from the Modern Retro palette. Modern Retro? Just the, it's just the Retro. From the Retro mid-sized Natasha Denona palette. Tempura has like a slight shimmer and is definitely a more like yellow toned or beigey toned matte, while Mod is a much more like stark, pink toned white matte. I used Tempura during the eye look, so if you wanna see how that looked later on, it, it it's just, it's, they're whites, they're, they're different tones of white. Next, I compared Vermeer in the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette to Vivian. So Vivian is a little bit darker, but Vermeer is more shimmery. I talked about this earlier. I used the two to compare while I was while I was doing my eyeshadow palette and whenever I was putting them on the eye, I noticed that Vivian is actually a matte. I don't know how that sparkle got there. I think maybe my palette got like disturbed during shipping, so maybe there was a slight like shiny overlay spray, but it looks very shiny in the swatches, but it is very not shiny in real life. So that's fun. Next, I compared Bon Fresco to Andy. They're very, very, very similar, but Andy is more pink while Bon Fresco is more of like a gray toned mauve. Next, I compared Antique Bronze to Helio. Helio is what Antique Bronze would be if it were a straight shimmer. So Antique Bronze is one of those like satin shades or it's kind of like a matte with some shimmer pressed in it, while Helio is just like a straight shimmer. Helio is like a little bit more light in tone, but it could just be the reflection of the light because it's a shimmer. But I wanted to compare these two just to show that Antique Bronze A has some shimmer in it and that they are very, very similar. I used them both in this little like to marry the shimmer to the matte. And I think they both did an equally good job because Helio isn't like a standout, like, well, the way I used Helio, I didn't wet the brush. I didn't use it to make it be like a standout vibrant shimmer. I just wanted to use that color to marry both sides. And I think, they both accomplished the same thing. Next, I compared Love Letter to Groove. Groove seemed to be like the same shade as Love Letter whenever I just kind of lightly finger swatched before I did the actual primed swatches just to see what shades that I would compare. But man, once I put it on that primer, it got dark. And I actually did use both in the crease shades. And I noticed that Groove did, when I applied it, did look kind of just like a little bit darker, but it definitely oxidized, I think, to be super dark. So that was interesting to see. If you wanna see it like in progress, obviously watch the whole video, but both I ended up using on my eye because I noticed that and I was like, interesting. I wanna see what you do. And I was able to get this side to match by using another shade, but it, it, it just oxidizes. Groove just oxidizes to a very cool toned, like dark, I don't wanna say like magenta, maybe a plum. Yeah, it's a very like blue toned plum. Next, I compared Cypress Umber to a part. Cypress Umber looks a little bit darker, but they're both cool toned browns. And I ended up putting both in the outer corners of both my eyes. And Cypress Umber does look a little bit darker, but I had to go in with like a lot more Cypress Umber because since it's so pigmented, it blended away so easily. 
whereas a part I just like put it on and then I did some stuff and then I deepened it. I had to, I had to really work to deepen this side, I think. So I wanna say that like the pigmentation of this side is better whenever you're working with the eyeshadow as opposed to just swatching the eyeshadow because packing it on, yeah, Cypress Under gives that pigment, but once you start working with it, it kind of fades away. Next, I compared Red Ochre to Amara. They're the same. If I squint, Amara looks a little bit darker, but they're just so similar. I, they're the same. Next, I compared Venetian Red to Rebellion. Rebellion is darker, but they're both the same tone. And Venetian Red is also that kind of like matte with a little bit of pressed shimmer into it. So that also could be contributing to it looking a little bit lighter because it has that shimmer but they, they, they accomplished the same thing. Next, I compared Warm Taupe to Nude Mauve. They're essentially the same. Nude Mauve might be a little bit more pink, but they're both very, very similar. I used both of those shades to blend out my crease shades, and that's kind of, uh, using Warm Taupe over here kind of brought that cool toned into that red that ended up making the two sides match better than just like a warm purple versus a cool tone purple, but they're both just so similar. Next, I compared Vermeer to Psychedelic. So Vermeer is kind of like a dulled down version of Psychedelic. They're essentially the same shadow where if you look at the base of the shadow, it's the same kind of like tone, but where Vermeer has just like kind of a light pink flip. Psychedelic takes that to like an extreme because I think it's one of her, I think it's one of Natasha Denona's um, like cream topper shades. So there's a lot more of like little sparkles throughout that kind of elevates it. So if you're looking for a more subdued like pink tone shimmer, go for Vermeer. But I did compare them because I wanted to see how they looked compared because Natasha, or excuse me, because Anastasia Beverly Hills doesn't have that many shimmers in her palette. I just wanted to see what the two really pink tone shimmers look like compared to one another. And they're similar. It's just, you can tell that Psychedelic is the more extreme of the two. Overall, I feel like Natasha Denona's formula, or excuse me, Natasha Denona's palette is a little bit more like warmer and like purple and like mauve. And I feel like you can see that in the eye looks, which is funny because I thought this crease shade was like super dark and cool toned. And I thought this one was more warm, but, but whenever I look at this eye look like in the camera, in the mirror, I feel like this side looks more cool where this side looks more warm. So overall, I think, are they complete exact dupes for each other? No, but did I essentially get the same eye look, give or take the shimmers? Yeah. I don't think that if the shimmers were so different between the two palettes, I don't think that you would be able to really tell a difference if you just looked at the creases alone. But thank you everybody so much for watching. If you want to see how I got this look, keep watching. But if this is where I leave you, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hi. So this is my hair. You've probably been looking at it for half the video, but um, I love it. <laughs> so this is gonna be like that. <laughs> I hate this neckline. I feel like it makes me look like rounder than I already am. <laughs> but hi, it is a uh, look time. What look am I gonna do? Do I do another half cut crease? Do I do a halo eye? Do I acknowledge how flaky my skin looks because I haven't exfoliated in the past couple days? Well, I absolutely need to go in with Groove to see if like applying it to my eye, it's still as dark as it was whenever I swatched because yeah, so that is like my first move. So on the Anastasia side, I'm going in with Love Letter and I'm just stamping that on the crease. It's blending a little bit, but this will be the color that I see if Groove matches or if i just didn't know what i was talking about when i made that swatch all right and then natasha denona's side here is groove okay so it's like a little more cool tone but it wasn't nearly as dark as it was in the swatch yeah it's just like a little more blue tone to me at least am i just bad at makeup <laughs> no don't ask that okay so here are both of my little shades stamped on. I'm gonna blend them out with the mauve shades from each respective palette. So yeah, I don't think, 
Did it oxidize or has it always been this stuck? Maybe it just oxidizes and I just... I'm moving on. So nude mob over here. I still have the little like sticker on this. It's gonna be impossible to do with these nails. Come on. I scratched the mirror before I got Oh, thank you, Natasha Denona. ASMR, ASMR maybe? Yes. Same fluffy blending brush, a warm taupe. Are those not essentially the same shade though? Oh my goodness. Okay, so adding warm taupe over here, at least to me, pretty much made these the same shade. There's a little bit more fallout over here than over here. I have to go in with my highlight again over here, but that's fine. I'm trying to pan my highlights anyway. I can't believe that they ended up becoming the same shade. This might still look a little bit more like red toned, but I think I'm going to do Cypress Umber and a part. Yeah. Going in with Cypress Umber. Oh, uh, so much fallout from this shade always. This is a very, very dry but very pigmented matte. <sighs> so much fallout. Without picking up any additional product on my brush, I am blending this out. Okay, so it kind of lost some of its pigment right there, but whatever. I'll probably cut the crease. So Cypress Umber, I compared to a part. There is still some fallout. And this isn't nearly like as pigmented. Lay down a lot cleaner and you know, before I blend out, it kind of looks the same already. Blend this out without picking up any additional product. It looks like it kept more on this on the side. So these ended up looking pretty similar. Brush away fallout, because there was some fallout, but not nearly as much. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to do my highlight over here. It looks like I have an eye bag that like extends all the way here. That is just like dark eyeshadow. But when I smile, it like lines up so perfectly over here. Huh. These look really similar already. Formula wise, I do have to say that I prefer the Natasha Denona. The Anastasia is very fallouty. Normally for like Clarity Cosmetics or Ace Beauté shadows, I don't mind the fallout, but there's a much bigger eyeshadow pan. These are just little squares and like Venetian Red already has like, I don't know if you can see the dip, but it looks like there's a much bigger dip for the amount of use that I've put into this palette. So, I feel very uh, manic today, but I feel excited to film, which is nice. I think it's because I took precautions last night. Like I took, normally I film uh, at night. I film normally Friday or Saturday night. And right now it's Sunday morning because I have just been feeling like crap. And so I, I took this weekend a little bit easy. I had a hectic Friday and I just, I've just been taking it easy. And now I feel kind of, not like rejuvenated, but I feel, I feel good. I feel happy to film, but enough about my life. Let's get back into the eyeshadow. That's what you're here for. <laughs> so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the lightest shades here, and then I'll go in with the middle shade. No, I'll go with the lightest shades here. I'll deepen up the crease, and then I'll go in with the middle shade to help marry everything. But I'm debating on whether or not I wanna go in with Antique Bronze and Helio, because I feel like that'll definitely show more shiny over here. Well, whenever I blend everything together. I want to show how they look on the eye. That's what I want to do. So I compared Vermeer to Psychedelic and Vivian, but I like Psychedelic more than Vivian. You know what? I'm going to go in with Vivian and Vermeer. That way you see the differences on the eyes. And then I'll go over Vivian with Psychedelic if I want. That's what I'll do. So this time I'm going to start off with the Natasha Denona. It's gonna stamp Vivian on. Now Vivian almost looks like matte in the pan, but there was a slight shimmer in the swatch, which is why I wanted to compare it to Vermeer because I thought Mod and Tempura would be a good match, but it looks like Vivian and Tempura because I don't see any shimmer there, but it is pigmented and it's like cutting my crease as just a powder eyeshadow. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go over this with a shimmer if I want it to be a shimmer shade, or do I want the cut crease to be matte and I could go 
over Vivian with tempura now because I didn't compare. Well, I could say screw the swatches and see how tempura and Vivian compare. Because yeah, there was a slight shimmer like whenever I finger swatched it and whenever I swatched it on the thing, but I don't see it. What? Hello? That is mad. She is mad. Why did you show up shimmery? I'm wondering if maybe, because there there wasn't like a broken shadow, but there was some, you know, like on the protective film of this, like either a psychedelic or glitz, or maybe even Helio, uh, got not like cracked, but I wonder if in the disturbing, that's, man, is that still grammar? I wonder if in the disturbing of the eyeshadow, if like maybe it looked like a spray, because that was the first swatch that I did on Vivian, and it just kind of left like a glitter spray over Vivian and a couple of these shadows that I just didn't notice. So whenever I swatched Vivian, I thought that it was a shimmer. Well, no, because then I went in with like my brush and there was on my brush swatch and there still was like a slight shimmer. I think Vivian is a matte. It cut my crease. Wow, like that is a stunning matte. Very pigmented. It went over those uh, darker mattes very easily. Huh, I'm gonna go over with tempura. That's that. That looks a lot more like a stark and white. It is more of like a yellow toned, like beige, I guess, or porcelain. Doesn't go over the darker mattes quite as easily, but it still gets the job done. There's a lot of fallout from it though. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over Antique Bronze, Helio, and then I'll go in with Psychedelic and Vermeer. That's what I'll do. Here is Antique Bronze, just on the center of the lid and I'm extending it into that outer corner. Now there is just like a slight shift to it. Whenever it was all like packed on, you definitely saw a little bit more of a shine, but over the matte, I think it's like dulled a bit. And this is just kind of like Anastasia's equivalent, I feel personally, of ColourPop's like matte with press glitters or a lot of brands like matte with press glitters, but this is a very shimmering matte. And there is some fallout, I don't know if you can see it, but not nearly as much as the other mattes that I've seen in this palette. The shimmers were gonna be the kind of deciding factor in this, but I'm gonna try and make it work. So this is Helio. Now this is just a straight up shimmer, but it is the exact same tone as Antique Bronze. It's very slight, but I feel like you can still tell one shimmer, one's matte. I'm gonna go in with a second layer of Helio, just stamping that bad boy on. So Helio Antique Bronze. They actually don't look too different. I didn't like wet my brush with Helio, so I feel like that's kind of over all of these mattes, it's kind of dulling down that shimmer. I feel like you can still tell there's a little bit more shine to Helio than Antique Bronze, but I don't think these eye looks look too different. I think this one might look a little bit more maybe warm because of the pink toned uh, matte, where this one was like very yellow toned over the pink tones kind of makes it look more stark, but let's go in with some shimmer. So I'm taking Vermeer, which is the more pink toned shade, which right now looks very white. This is one of only two shades of shimmer shades, excuse me, like meant to be shimmer shades in this palette. This one's more pink tone, and then there's Primavera, which is more of like a gold tone. Uh, Venetian Red does have some shimmer in it, as does Antique Bronze. They're both that kind of like satin-ish shade. Now, I do feel like I've lost some of the red that was over here, so I'm just gonna take a dab on my blending brush with Venetian Red. Just swipe it onto the crease and help blend everything together. I feel like that added a little bit more life to that crease, and I'll probably take some of that on my under eye. That way it just kind of looks like, kind of like a halo of like this purplish red. But so far that is this side all done. I feel like this looks a lot more stark. I don't quite know what psychedelic is gonna do. I'm gonna hope that the high highlights of it pick up more white, I guess. So going in with psychedelic.
Okay, so I still feel like this side looks a little bit more pink. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of Helio, just like I did on the other side with Antique Bronze, just stamping that in the middle. And then once again, to kind of reintroduce some red, I'm gonna take some more of, oh my goodness. I think I'm gonna take some of Rebellion this time and use that in the crease and to help blend everything together. This looks more stark than this, so I'll go in with like a little bit more of my shimmer shade, just because I feel like that just got lost again. Okay, so I think this is the best that I'm going to get. Are they perfect, exact dupes? No, but are they really similar and close enough for me and what I'm seeing in like my little camera? Yes. But I am going to finish my eyes off camera and then I will be right back. I'm back. This is the final look. I used a freckle pen to like highlight some of my like natural moles, but I just have so many on my face. I don't know if you can see that one. I just chose three. I feel like I look good. I feel like it makes my skin look more natural if you can like, instead of it looking like they're covered with like powder, it's just like, oh, they're there. And so your skin looks like skin. I could be insane. Anyway, I, let's talk about the eyeshadow. I feel like these two eye looks aren't the most different. The shimmers were going to be the main difference on either palette, no matter which way you looked at it, because if you look at this, there's only these two shimmers right here, ooh, right here, Primavera and Vermeer. Venetian Red and Antique Bronze are mattes with shimmers, but they don't translate really shimmery on the eye. The Natasha Denona palette also ha just has a more shimmers but none of them are really golden which is what primavera is this is like a pink with the gold flip the crease shades and the overall just like vibes of the eye look are very very similar so here is everything there is a little bit of separation like right here between in the crease of that matte shade but i have hooded eyes so whenever i rest my eyes like naturally wait i have to like I'm so used to like raising my eyebrows for everything. So let me just, so whenever I like, just have like the straight face, you can't see anything. See, there I go again. I always, I always have like a slight raise in my brow just so that way you can see everything. But whenever my eyes are natural, you can't really see that differentiation. But yeah, here is everything. I have to say that I prefer the retro palettes formula as opposed to the Anastasia Modern Renaissance. This is $65 where Modern Renaissance is either 42 or 45. So there is about like a $20 price hike, but I prefer the size of the shadows. I prefer the formula and I prefer the variety of eyeshadows in this one. So this one is like my favorite just for like those reasons, but I feel like everyone has the modern renaissance so let me flip this did you do i feel like everyone has the modern renaissance but i also just feel like the, the retro is more of just like a mauve palette where this has like the like yellow beigey half and then like the, the grungy i guess purple-ish half they're they're both very this is a very like well-rounded fall palette where it has like warm tones and then a little bit of cool tones if you want it. Retro is primarily mauve and like purples, but I think in the end, they both accomplish the same thing. So let me know what you guys think down below. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.